This is a family celebration, ladies and gentlemen, for the hockey world. Welcome to the Sheriff Podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a very important time in sports, especially in hockey. This is a time when our game has made serious strides for equality. At the Sheriff Podcast, we believe that in order to make the game more diverse, we must celebrate the history. We must put our role models on pedestals and we must recognize the people before us that have given the chance for people after us to play this game and feel comfortable. We need to embrace these pioneers and part of that is having incredible episodes where we have people that we can look up to that have accomplished incredible things. Ladies and gentlemen, my guests today are part of a royal family of Nova Scotia hockey. I am so excited about this that I can hardly contain myself. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm actually going to start this episode off with a family tribute to the Mentis family, okay? So I want to start off, ladies and gentlemen, talking about the grandfather of this incredible family. His name is Bob, a.k.a. Cook Mentis. Yep. Hmm. Now, Bob is a Truro native of Nova Scotia who starred for the juvenile Bearcats during the 1950s. Like others, the local African Nova Scotian community, including his brother Ray, a.k.a. Cook, eventually moved <clears throat> to other places to, to pursue their hockey careers. Yep. Now, Mr. Mentis moved to Sudbury to pursue his hockey career. Now, his son, the father of my guest, was born in Sudbury, but he has a special famous saying, born in Sudbury, but raised in Nova Scotia. <laughs> James Mentis, AKA Chicky, was born in Sudbury, obviously because his father was playing hockey that season. Now, Chicky has a famous quote that you just heard me say, but even more important than that, he is the, part of the historic family that includes hockey-rich Nova Scotian relatives, outstanding athletes, including Cook's sister, Lenora, a.k.a. Sissy. Now, Sissy excelled on the basketball court, while brother Burton, a.k.a. Bertie, was known for his outstanding baseball skills. Johnny Mentis divided his talents between hockey and baseball and found success in both of them. Now, Mr. Mentis, AKA Chicky, excelled in ball hockey and is responsible for having Michaela start hockey as soon as possible. Some would say it was uh. as early as four years old. James Mentis played ball hockey with Team Canada and Team West Indies and remains active with the Brampton Express of the Greater Toronto Ball Hockey League. I would like to point out that the two members that really hold this family together is Sandra Grant Mentis and Mr. Trey. Hey. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, I would like to now announce our guests, the, the stars of the evening, Mr. Marquis Grant Mentis and hey. Mr. Mi and Ms. Michaela Grant Mentis. Thanks for coming on, guys. Thank you. Thank we, you. We do have a, stu a studio audience here. The place is on the <laughs> here at Bottom Line Sports Bar. Now, Michaela, I got to start with you. You've had a really interesting last couple years. Now, yes. I want to point out the fact that I have a sister too. It's not just him. I got a sister <laughs> that was a hockey player. Now, my sister, Catherine McMorrow, is three years older than me. She's the person that I looked up to for most of my life to this point. Now, Catherine was an incredible co a competitive hockey player. I learned that girls, in my opinion, can sometimes be way more competitive than boys, <laughs> okay? I have a different view on girls. You were the MVP last season. <laughs> you, are, you are the face of women's hockey, in my opinion, from this point forward, okay? Especially in Canada. How do you feel having this title? Is it an added responsibility for you? Yeah, you know, I think it's a, it's a good responsibility, and I think I take it with a lot of pride. Um, it is, it's a lot of work, but, you know, I put all the work into it, and my twin helps me out a lot with my video, but, you know, we, we work together all the yeah. time for everything. And I, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you can understand how soft-spoken this lady is here, but this is the MVP. This is, in my opinion, one of the best female hockey players in this world, in this lifetime. Yes, sir. And she's very humble. Yes, sir. How do you feel? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Marquise, how do you feel about your twin 
reaching the success in the game that you guys both play? It's it's incredible, you know, because I was like one of the hardest guys on her. So it's very great to see her accomplish a lot of these good things. Now, I'm sorry, guys, but my excitement level to have you guys on the show, I mean, I'm sweating bullets. I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm a big fan of both of you. So you yes, just, just, just hang in with me, okay? <laughs> so now... I got a couple of questions for you guys. Obviously, you guys are twins. Yep. So let's be honest here. Let, let's just, like, this is a fun show. It's yeah, raw, yeah. it's honest. <laughs> Who's the better skater as kids? Be honest. No, my twin. No, no. He was the better player all around when we were kids. Okay. Now, now. <laughs> ah, Bucky. Now. <laughs> Bucky. Okay, I'm if, not you, sure. if you take it now, you take it all year. You know that. You're a hockey guy. Yeah. You're going to take this right now? No. Well, I don't know. I feel like she was a great skater, but, yeah, I think I was always a better skater. <laughs> All right. So now here's my real question, a little bit more deep. Yeah. Who had the passion for playing more? Like, you guys may have started at the same time, but who liked it right away? Or was it both of you? I think I liked it more, and then she Definitely. slowly picked up and just seen what I was doing and ran with it. Okay. Now, did you guys play on the same team growing up? Yes, we did. <laughs> All the way up. Yep. Until when? For boys' hawk. Until uh, I was like 13, but um, the hitting was too much. He would okay. get too many penalties, so yep. we had to split up. So you were hitting too much. Not you me. You were roughing up the boys too much. Well, well, she was to getting hit Is too that much. what you just said? Yes, exactly. There you go. <laughs> okay, so no, I find that interesting because, I mean, to be teammates, to be twins, again, I'm going to refer to my sister. When I was in grade five, she was in grade eight. We were defense partners for our elementary school hockey team. Wow. That stands out to me. Yep. You guys got to play how many years together? Like At least eight up to about 12 years. Okay. Yep. Okay, so now, here's my next question. You guys are similar height? Yep. yep. Similar weight? Yep. yep. I don't want to offend anybody. <laughs> calm down, calm down. It's two on one here. So I don't, but okay, so you guys are the same size, right? Yep. So now, my question to you is, Girls usually mature quicker than boys. Were you bigger than him the whole time? Way yeah. bigger. Way yeah. bigger? Yep. Oh, yeah. Okay, so then once this guy started pumping iron, though, <laughs> he, he kind of caught up a little bit or, or like what? Um, no, I think I was honestly, I, it was when I went to college and I came back and it was like he grew three feet in a year. Yeah. That's when he grew. Yep. So. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. Very late. Three inches in a year. Three inches. Inches, okay. feet, I, I don't know. No, I, I he thought grew. I heard feet. I'm like, you know, it's possible. I have a seven-foot brother. Yeah. It's possible. <laughs> but probably, probably inches, which is incredibly impressive as well. Yeah. Let's stick on this topic because you talked about college. Yes. Merrimack. When <laughs> I read that, I, I have a lot of buddies that were bragging so much that they got into Merrimack. That's a huge program. So now a little bird told me, that you're the all-time leading scorer for yep. Merrimack? Is that, is that yes, true? Yes, sir. Yes, I am. Really? So yep. by how much? Like, do you know these stats? Like, are you blowing the second person out of the water? Uh, no, I actually beat the second person my last year. I think maybe like 10 points. Okay. Maybe. Okay. It might be a stretch. That's good. I can respect yeah. that. <laughs> yep. I can respect that. I'm talking as the lead, all-time <laughs> leading scorer of Merrimack history, which is a historic NCAA Division I program, which yep. is very respected. Okay. Yep. So now, when, when she was at Merrimack, how far were you away from her? Because I know that twins, yep. you guys <laughs> feel each other's pain sometimes. Yeah. You know, if I squeeze your arm, Michaela might say, oh, is that yeah. true? Is that, is that how it works? Yeah, when she was when she first left, it was tough for me. But uh, after the first year, I kind of got used to it. Right on, yeah. right on. <laughs> and so, like, when you would go to visit her, you know what I mean? And like, you know, like there's dorms, there's all these males, yep. crazy college boys. <laughs> Your sister is a pretty girl. Like, do you get mad like when these guys are around her? Like. How do you deal with your twin, like, getting attention? Yeah, yes and no. Like, I know my sisters are, like, she's a very tough girl, so she won't let nobody play around with her. And I was tough on her growing up, so, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now what about the other sibling that I gave a shout-out to? Trey? Yeah. yeah. Shout-out my older brother, Trey. How old Trey. is Trey? He's a 94. 28. Wow. 27 yeah, okay. turning 28, sorry. Right on. Yeah. <laughs> and so what's the dynamics with you guys and your other sibling? Like, are you guys all equally close? Yeah. Do you guys have your twin, you know, little thing going? <laughs> or, like, what? How does that work? 
Yeah, I feel like we're always close from from when we started growing up. My brother, very good guy, humble guy too. Yeah. Yeah. Right on. Yeah. So, so, so you learned a lot from him. Yeah, like not hockey wise, but like <laughs> just being Whoa. Like a good guy. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Hey. <laughs> We're, we're all about the friendly banter here. We love <laughs> yeah. it. I love it. It keeps people loose, keeps people competitive. Yeah. I, I absolutely love it. So, okay, so now I want to move a little bit more towards kind of adulthood now. You, my friend, oh gosh. broke right into pretty much the highest levels of women's pro hockey. So now, when I was doing my research today, I noticed that you started with Buffalo. Yes, I did. Then the Toronto Six was an expansion team, correct? Yep. Okay, so you're coming home. You're coming home to your home team, and you absolutely lit the lamp. <laughs> so, I mean, that's what happened. You were, you were the MVP. So, I mean, I read an article that you accredit your teammates a lot. Yes. There was a lot of skill on this team, right? Now, how well did you guys do? I know how well you did, <laughs> but how well did the team do? I mean, we did pretty well. I think we were first in the league. Mm, scratch that. We came second. Um, but we did pretty well throughout the season. I think it was came down to the last game to decide first place. Um, but we were a great team all around. And, you know, we just lost it in playoffs. But it was all good. So the season started in Lake Placid in a tournament. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, due to COVID, did they just cancel it right out? Uh, they didn't cancel it. They pretty much just like shut it down for a month and then we came back and played in Buffalo, Boston, Boston. Okay, so now here's my next question. Were you leading this league the whole year or did you do like a Merrimack thing where you just came from behind and just <laughs> smashed out the first place person? Um, no, I, th I think I was leading it the entire time. You were, time. Yeah. <laughs> you were. All right, co I mean, <laughs> congratulations. Thank I you. I think it's incredible and what I think is more incredible is stories that I heard about little girls from Nova Scotia yeah. writing you letters, asking you questions. Even though hockey is more inclusive right now, we're still in situations where there's most hockey teams only have one person of ethnicity, <clears throat> if you want to name it that way, yep. on the team. That's yeah. still the way it kind of is. Like if we do see a team with two, three, four, like we're like, wow, look at that. Yeah. Like that's still the way it is, even though it's getting better. Now, my question to you is, when you are contacted by a young female hockey player, what's the feeling that you have to be able to give them advice to know that they're hanging on every word that you're saying and that they have these butterflies in their stomach just talking to you? Like, what is that like now, Michaela? Because that's what you put yourself in right now. <laughs> yeah. That's the platform. Um, you know, I feel very proud that they can reach out to me. You know, I didn't. I didn't have anybody when I was younger to reach out to, so it means a lot that I can do that for them. And, you know, I just try to steer them in the right direction. I just try to give them the best advice that I can, and that's all I can do. There's not much I can really say. I haven't made it to the top levels yet that I think I can get to, but yep. if I just steer them in the right direction, I think they'll make it wherever they need to go. I absolutely love it. And, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you noticed those words, but the best the best competitors always say that they can get better. They always say they can. You just heard it right here. Sure. I, I think that's incredible. We're going to switch this up a little bit to the other side of the twin. <laughs> so now you, my friend, yes, sir. I have a pretty cool story to tell of a message that you sent to me a couple months ago. Yeah. Not a couple months ago. It was more recent than that. Yeah. Now, in this message, I got a feeling similar to Michaela. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I get a message. You mind if I tell the story? Yeah, one hundred percent. Because you're in really good shape right now, dude. So like, just, just tell me if you're not cool. No, I'm. I'm, I'm I good. don't know where to run. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so in all seriousness, though, Marky, you tell the story. I, I don't. Want, these people don't want to hear me talk anymore. Yeah. You tell the story. What did you? What did you? What kind of message did you send to me? And trust me, I, I, there's an outcome to this. Don't worry. Yeah. Um. I just. I just got a Facebook message from, or a Facebook request from Sean, and I, I searched his name up right away, and I seen that he was a black hockey player, and he played professionally, and first thing I asked him, I said, I, congratulations on your career, and, and I asked him if he could get me to the next level. I couldn't have said that any better. Yeah. <laughs> so this young gentleman beside me reached out to me after I requested you. Yes, sir. Because I think, yeah. Yes, sir. Because you know what? 
I saw a post that you did supporting your sister, yep. recognizing that she was now had broken a record for signing for the most money out of any female hockey player that this planet has ever seen. Yep. 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 <laughs> so, oh God. And, and that's only one reason why, Michaela, you, you're the face of female hockey. You're the face of hockey right now. Yep. Like, in my opinion, there's certain people that have that responsibility. Connor McDavid's the NHL. There's a lot of other areas, yep. and you're one of them, my dear. So, congratulations. Yep. Thank you. Back to you, twin. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. When I was able to feel this incredible feeling that Michaela gets all the time, <laughs> I was reached out by this incredible young man. Now, he said to me, will you be able to help me earn a spot at the next level? He didn't say, can you get me to the next level? Yeah. He said, can you get me to a training camp? Can you get me to a position where I can prove that I can make it, where yep. I can put in the work? That's the type of attitude of the athletes that actually make it in this type of, in this type of age. Yep. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the point of this talking point is that I want to outline what I've seen the last two months. Because, brother, I'm not a creep. Yep. Okay, I'm not a creep. <laughs> but I've creeped your Facebook. Yep. <laughs> And ladies and gentlemen, what I've seen is this gentleman is on the ice every single day. This gentleman's in the gym every single day. Yes, sir. I even have times where I feel bad because I'm like, Marquis in the gym again? I haven't <laughs> been for a couple days. I don't, I don't even know. Like, like, this is a type of example where people see this on social media and they try to keep up with this. They try to keep up with the Joneses. Yep. You see a guy like Marquis, he's working and you're not. You feel that you have to work too. And that's what leadership is all about. Yep. And that's what it takes. So, dude, you've prepared incredibly for this season. I've talked to many ECHL teams, including a gentleman today, and I'll tell you what, it's only a matter of time yep. before you get that invite before the training camps happen. Yep. You know where you're going to go, yep. and you can prove yourself and make it to the next level. Yes, sir. And it's all the work that you've put in right now that's going to get you there. So, dude, I'm telling you, don't stop what you're doing. Yes, sir. Keep going hard. Get the sibling rivalry, yes, sir, rivalry yes, fire right up, yes, sir, yes, sir. right? And, and yeah, so like, so it, it's a beautiful thing. And I wanted the listeners and the audience to understand how hard of a worker you are, bro. Because yes, I'm, I check your page out yeah. just when I'm feeling a little bit down. I want to get motivated, <laughs> right? So, yeah, yeah. so that's what it's all about. So now, I want to, I want to change it up a little bit. I want to make it a little bit fun. Yeah. Do you guys play ever rock paper scissors? When we were younger. Yeah. Okay. So I, don't I want you guys to do it right now. All right. So rock. this is rock, scissors, and yes. paper. So it's not going to be one, two, three, bam. It's going to be one, two, three, bam. Let's go right now. I want to see it. Wait, rock, paper, scissors. Rock, Shoot. Rock, paper, scissors. So it's one, two, three, bam. Whatever you're going to so do. So four. Yes, four shots. All right. so Let's go. So shoot. All right. These are that twins. Is. These are <laughs> twins doing this. Rock, paper, scissors. Shoot. Oh, okay. <laughs> two out of three. Let's go. Oh two out of three. Let's go. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, oh, oh my God. You kept the same thing. Okay. So hold on. This is like ice wars. That's crazy. <laughs> I've seen these guys battle it out, so I'm, I'm going to mimic how it was in ice wars. We have a decision, ladies and gentlemen. It is tied after two rounds. We're going to a third round. Oh, man. This is the terrible. this was a twin wow. rock, rock paper terrible. scissors competition, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, it's like I, I'm not just showing off the bling on the watch, but see she's happy for you, but she's mad at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's happy because she's her twin, but she's mad because she's very competitive, right? <laughs> nah, I'm not competitive. I'm just shocked that he did paper three times in a row. Never no, seen that before. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know what? I usually pull that move too. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. rarely works, but it, sometimes it works in the in the big moments. So yeah, yeah, yeah. you definitely pulled it off. Okay, so I want to know what's happening right now with you guys. Now, 
talking to your family earlier, I know that most of you guys are from Brampton. Yep. Right? So yep. you guys are repping Brampton. Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We okay, so there's a lot of Scotians in the building today. Yeah. <laughs> but there's also a what there's also a West Indian presence, yeah, big time yeah, here. Yeah. <laughs> we're talking Caravana, we're in Toronto, at bottom line. <laughs> yep. Just like much music, we got the open window to see these stars in their seats, <laughs> okay? So I just have to point that out because there's a lot of rowdiness in the background. People might, but what's going on there? Like, is that background? <laughs> so the place is rocking at bottom line, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so right now, what do you guys got going on? What's day-to-day -day life for you guys? Whoever wants to go first. Go first. You can go. I'll go first, yeah. Day-to-day -day life for me is just wake up, go to the gym or go on the ice and eat healthy and just get ready for the upcoming season. Yeah, I what about too. golf? Yeah, this golf guy too. sucks the at golf. Yeah. Know about the golf. You don't want to go golfing with him, actually, let me tell you. So he's a good golfer? Yeah, yeah actually, terrible. I actually, I actually played terrible. good yesterday. What's your handicap? He doesn't oh, even, know, even what know what that means. What? <laughs> 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 I'm very intimidated right now, man. Yeah. This is incredible. This guy is 20, 23 years old. Yeah. 23 years old. I can't even talk golf with the guy. He's, he's that good. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right. So, do you play golf as well, Michaela? I do play golf. Yeah? Yes. Is he better? There's no way. There's, There's no, no way. way. I don't There's know no about way. that. There's no way. Okay, hold on a second here. So, so ask, you're a good golfer, but you're better, me, in your opinion. Ask me whose clubs he uses. Okay. No, so I have my own now. No, no. So Mark he uses, uses my Michaela's old clubs. clubs. My okay. old clubs. What kind of clubs? I don't know what they are. They were trash clubs. That's why I got <laughs> new ones. I'm just, no, I was just curious. Yeah. Oh, I have Taylor made. I have made. to try to sound competitive too here in golf. Like, yeah, I mean, yeah. you guys are that good. I got, I got clubs too, but you know. So, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> where do you go? Uh, Rexdale, anywhere. <laughs> Brampton. I'm just loving the Toronto landmarks that are being mentioned here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. It's incredible. No, no, no. Okay, so, okay, so Michaela, tell yes. me your daily routine right now. Um, How are you so getting prepared? I, I work at FedEx, so I'm up at... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Big up the FedEx. So does my mom and my uncle and my aunt and my brother. We all yeah. work there, family affair. Um, so I'm there at 5.30 in the morning till 2. Then I go to my workout, 2 to 4, and then... Most of the time, I have the night off. And then sometimes I'm doing podcasts, playing golf, or doing whatever. Where does the nickname uh, Bucky come from? B Bucky? That comes from my twin right here. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep, At yep. four years old, when we first started playing together, I had a Jofa helmet. You might know what those look like. Oh, yeah. Yep, there you go. Yeah! 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 yeah. <laughs> there it is right there, buddy. The sting, yeah. the sting. <laughs> so, um, ladies and gentlemen, we have a very energetic crowd here. <laughs> <laughs> the gentleman that just reached out, his son actually plays for the Sarnia Sting, so that was the shout out there. Oh, we love that. Okay, I'm sorry for the interruption. We have a wild crowd <laughs> at bottom line. We do, we do. As you were um, saying. What was I saying? Well, the whole family works for FedEx. Yeah. Right? Every member. Ev every I heard member. That. Pretty much and everyone then, went in and, and out. And of I know that you were mentioning about the training regimen. Yes. So that's like, oh, the, the name Bucky. Yes, the Jofa helmet. Yeah. So when I played, because I was the youngest and also the worst, I got the worst equipment, all the handy downs. Yep, yep. <laughs> so I got the Jofa helmet from my father, and from that day, my twin said I had I had a Bucky <laughs> helmet, and from okay. four years old. Four years old, that's it. been my name. I don't think anybody knows me by anything else but Bucky. So when someone doesn't call you Bucky, is that weird? It's yeah. crazy. Like, <laughs> people at work call me Michaela, and I'm like, are you talking to me? Oh, that's me. <laughs> what about Spotty? Uh, Spotty is just like a short form for spotlight, because when I was younger... My older brother said I always used to have the spotlight, so. Always. Yeah. Well, you got the spotlight right now. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, <laughs> yep, yep. I feel like I'm in the spotlight. <laughs> <laughs> right? So, okay, so Spotty is being in the spotlight. Yeah. That's what that's all about? Yeah. Yep. I like it. Bucky, Spotty, 
your, your, your grandfather's siblings all had nicknames. Yep. All the aunts and uncles. Yep. Like, do you guys find that that's like a sport thing or is your family thing? Like, how come you guys all have nicknames? It's the same thing in my family. I just think it's natural. Like, yeah, yeah it just comes natural. Yeah. Yep. Right on, right on. Yep. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we have a question from the audience. So I, what do you guys call your mother? Uh, we call our mother the coach. Yes. You call her coach? Yeah, yes. We call her coach. <laughs> Literally. Literally. Okay, okay, you might wonder okay. why. So, okay, let's stick, <laughs> let's stick with this a little bit. All right. So Mumsy, she's coach. Yep. <laughs> why? Because she is the coach. <laughs> Whatever she says is always right. Yeah. <laughs> no matter if it's wrong, it is right. <laughs> okay, so I, I actually love this. So, does that bring more fire out of you guys, though? Like, does it? Does it? Do you find it helps you having having a strong character like that behind you? Like, yeah. Like, I, I like that she cares, but like, she doesn't really have <laughs> a knowledge behind the game. So I still give her the props that like she still tries to give us knowledge, but yeah. <laughs> we might need security. Security. <laughs> People are upsetting each other. No, we're, we're, it's all fun jokes here. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Now, w what about pops, man? What's with this ball hockey stuff? West Indies and yep. Team Canada, like. Yep. That's well, pretty cool. Thank you, sir. Um. Yeah, we actually call my dad the goat. Because, the greatest uh, of all time? The greatest you of bet. all time. Yes, sir. Yes. This, this is just getting better and better. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the GOAT, the greatest of all time, a.k.a. Chicky. 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 Man. Yep. So Mr. Chicky, Mr. Ball Hockey Star, yep. what, what country in the West Indies? Like, oh, he's, no, he's Team West Indies. Yeah. Yeah. But, like, what, what country, though... It, does he originate from in the West Indies? It'd be Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Barbados? No, Barbados. Okay, okay. Bayesian. He's Bayesian. I didn't know that. That's very, very... <laughs> hey, we learn new things on TSP. Yeah. I learn... Hey, I, 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 I learn a lot. Yeah. I, no, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to give you props, man. I know you're in the spotty spotlight. I'm trying to give you props. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> I'm just messing with you, nah, man. I'm good. Don't worry. I'm a very, very <laughs> weird guy. Don't yeah. worry about it. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, so... Okay, so Chicky, Bayesian, yep. Bayesian. It's a very, very, it's a very, very special country in the West Indies. My father's from Trinidad. Yep. Now, Bayesians are known not only to be some of the smartest people from the West Indies. Yep. Their education system is off the hook. Yep. But mm, man, do these people have swag? Does <laughs> your dad have swag like that? Is maybe he one of those? He used to. Maybe back in the day. Yeah. Maybe oh, back maybe in the day. Maybe back in the day. Yeah. The, okay, the chirping has continued here. <laughs> I can't. I couldn't even imagine being at their family dinner table after the show. <laughs> this, it's incredible. You know, it's all it's all positive though. So, all right. So back in the day, Cheeky was had a lot of swag. Yep. He had a lot of swag. Apparently. He had cool suits, <laughs> cool hats. Just around people in the ball hockey rink. Yep. Yep. And just sniping nonstop. Yep. So now. What about on the ice, though? Like, was he able to, ever, able to come out with you guys? Or would he just slip and fall and say, no. you guys skate, I'll watch? Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, wasn't, he wasn't the best skater. He would try his hardest, okay. but he was yeah. not good at all. Yes. Now, what about growing up? You got, two, you got two kids on the team. There's a lot of hockey dads that are kind of extreme and stuff like that. Yep, yep. I couldn't imagine how it would be to have two kids on the team. Like, were, like, was was he really into it because it was like double trouble, double the trouble? Nope, it's nope. the opposite. My dad's so very laid back. Oh yes, he okay, stands good. in the furthest I, I, corner possible. <laughs> no, no, I'm glad to hear that because some of the parents get way too into. Yeah, it. that's no, our no, mother. No, 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 that's our that. mother. Oh, we have some finger pointing <laughs> towards towards. I'm, I'm not towards. gonna I'm not gonna expose towards the coach. <laughs> <laughs> towards the coach. So no, but that's that's really cool because I always find that the families that have the most character have athletes in them that because they've mm. used those traits exactly. to be able to move on in sports. Yeah. Yep. So now, where do you guys want to be? Now this is this is going to be difficult, but once one of you answers, it's going to be simple for the other one. Yeah. <laughs> so that's really the battle. So maybe the rock paper scissor twin champion might get a break on this one. Yeah. It might have to go to Michaela. But Michaela, what's your goal for the next few years, hon? 
Uh, the next few years, you know, I'm just looking to continue my pro career. Hopefully get a look at from Team Canada. Yep. If not, that's okay. I'm totally fine with it, playing pro hockey. Um, and then, you know, just starting, starting my life, whatever I want to do afterwards of hockey. I have to go back to school, so figure that out and just go on from there. I think that was the perfect <laughs> answer. It was. It was. It was. What about you, my friend? Yeah, like what my twin said, like, focus on my pro career, yeah. see how far I can go with it, and then get my life started. So now, like, okay, so now I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna start with you first and my, my feedback. So now, for, for someone that's running a professional hockey team, like, if it's, if it's the Federal League, the East Coast Hockey League, the, the American Hockey League, the NHL. Yep. Now, what these teams are looking for is character, drive, team players, coachable players. Yep. From what I've seen from you, you fit, you check all those marks. You check it, check it, check it, check it, check it, check it. <laughs> yes, sir. So uh, what my hopes are, what I always do with the show is first off, any of these GMs that are listening and watching, this will be released on YouTube tomorrow. Yes, sir. This is a guy right here. This is a guy right here looking for a shot. Yeah. That's the guy. Yeah. 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 Right, Bucky? That's the guy. He's right looking there. for the shot. He's working every day. If you want a coachable kid that is extremely young, that's willing to sacrifice, right here, ladies and gentlemen. You can yes, contact me. I know him. I'll hook it up. I'll hook it up. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. You, my friend. Um, I would love to see you on Team Canada, okay? Yep. I'll give you a couple of reasons. Because I want to see big characters on Team Canada that everybody can look up to just like everyone's looking up to you right now. Yep. I want to see the best players on Team Canada, and I want to see the biggest characters. So, Miss, I really hope Team Canada, when they yeah. do the selection, that you will be there because you deserve to be there, and I can't wait to see you there. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I love the respect <laughs> that you had, that you ha had, that you have present tense for Team Canada because I could tell that you're as big a fan as I am of Team Canada. Yeah, right? I am. I love the women's team. I love the guys' team, but I love the women's team. Yeah. Because, like I said, I had a sister that played. I admire females in sports. I think that you guys are way underestimated in so many levels. Yes. And that it just needs to be acknowledged of how competitive and how much drive that you guys really have as females in sports. So. Yeah. Yeah, I heard a little bit of clapping there. Yeah. <laughs> I love the clapping. It makes me jump. It makes me jump when I hear the clapping. So, okay, so now, so now, Auntie, we got another request from, from the crowd. Okay, so before we get into Auntie, I just want to talk about one more thing before we wrap this up. What's a message that you guys, again, you guys sorted out. I want to know your message to the world. When I was hosting Ice Wars, every competitor had a message to the world. One guy might be like, I'm bringing the crown back to Quebec. Yeah. <laughs> Another guy might be like, the crown has already been won. Right? Yeah. What are your guys' messages to the world? Well, my message is just to believe in yourself and never give up. I'm very motivated by that. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Yeah. Twin, can yeah. you top that? No, that's why we're twins, because mine was to never give up. So I feel like if you put both together, whoa, whoa. it's the same thing. <laughs> I'm sure that's mentioned a lot when the young girls ask you, I'm having problems, I'm, I'm having problems with this, I'm having problems with that. I'm sure, I've, like a repeated answer is never give up. Yep. yep. Know your worth. I'm, I gotta say one thing. I gotta credit your family for everybody that's come today. Thank you. I feel so special that people actually <laughs> came to the show, okay? And it's a beautiful thing. Today was a celebration. I want to reiterate it again. Families like yours need to be celebrated. You guys need to be recognized sure. because a lot of people look up to you, a lot of people love you, and a lot of people want to learn more. And we have to have more, shore, more, more shows yep. that put our heroes on pedestals. That's and that's correct. where I find that the history part of the game is so important. Yes, and I had to point out how competitive your family is in sports <laughs> because it all starts with the family, the support system that make people successful in sports. So yep. I want to thank you guys for coming on. This was great. Thank you. I wish we us. had longer, right? Yeah, I'm going to work on longer shows here, but you guys, this was action packed. I had so much fun. I hope you guys did too. Yes, we did. Yeah. Thank you. They, I think they might have had the most fun. 
So ladies and gentlemen, I'm, I'm absolutely honored to have these twins with me right now. I want to thank you for tuning in. It's been such a blast. With these live shows that we're doing, we're having so much fun with it. We're working as we go. We want to perfect everything, but most importantly, we want to entertain you guys and teach the history of the game. So thank you for tuning in to the Sheriff Podcast, and we'll see you next time. Yes, Woo! You will.